His name is... I don't know what it is, but for this one, it is Surjeet Saram. He is a diamond player, support Overwatch gameplay featuring Ana and Symmetra. Looks to be on Dorado, and we're kind of just right at the start of this. And we're, we're right into another Ana game. So just this is my personal, I'll just talk while this game is going. I hate holding this. I hate holding up top. Uh, that sounds really funky. Those guys were full health. She needed to use that on herself first. Use it on yourself now. Someone's right behind you. Oh, shit. That was close. I was worried. I heard a Genji uh, behind her. Yeah, I don't know what rank this game is. It wasn't on... That was good. Good grenade. Actually, she missed the Zarya, but still, it helped kill that guy. It doesn't say what rank, actually. Oh, uh, and thank you to Fury for 27 viewers. Also, if people didn't know... Hold on. I just... We will take time out of our day for this. Fury. Fury. That piece of shit. Alright, that Torbjorn piece of shit player. He made it, guys. He lasted. I told him not to play for the rest of the season. I was like, dude, don't play. He's like, I have to. I was like, no, don't play. You have to realize me and him are pretty much, I think, the most hated people in Overwatch. Straight up. He wanted to play right before the season. And I was like, dude, they're going to throw 100%. They're going to throw. Playing, you will lose. And then Fuey, he, he didn't play. And he hit top 500. Yeah, top 500, boys. You know what that means? It's good news for us. Because when everyone goes, well, Crow, did you get top 500 season four? I'll be like, no. And they're like, yeah, that's because you suck. I'll be like, fucking Torb got in the top 500. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Guys, top 500, now is a joke. Fuey made it. So we can thank Fuey for making top 500 a joke. We just, we, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Also, the other funny thing is, everyone thinks I carried them, and it, it, that wasn't the case, but we're going to take it. So if anyone asks you, if Fuey got the top 500, be like, yeah, Crow got him there, but he didn't get there himself. Just, just say that. It's a complete fucking lie, but everyone would actually believe it. But yeah, Fuey, thank you for making top 500 a joke. Because now I don't have to worry about getting top 500 ever again. I'll just be like, yeah, look at this guy. I helped him get the top 500. He's a fucking yeah. Torb. Garrison. Overrated. Anyways, back to reviews. Alright, so... Sleep art? Oh, you missed it! Oh, that bubble save. I don't think that's why Symmetra is good. Sorry, I was in the middle of a fucking mosh pit. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, seemed, that seemed fine. Uh, he could have ulted, but it would have been a pretty... It, it, it was definitely, it, it would have been a panic ult. And I don't know what it would have changed because uh, they had three or four people on that teleporter. Uh, it's hard to say. But I would like him to use the ult a little bit early here to essentially establish dominus, dominance and just to push out things. His rank is under the picture. Yeah, I know he's, well... You don't know, like, he, he's diamond, but you can de-rank to gold, and you will keep your diamond rank. Uh, but we haven't seen the exact number yet. 
And Diamond could be anywhere. Like, he could be in a 29, 2800 SR game, or he could be in a 3700 SR game. Uh, okay, that... Good sleep dart. Um, maybe you got a little bit too much into the fray, but that can that can happen and that can work. Uh, Oni, I did see that on Stanky's newest video. It's funny in the video I posted, it, and it is just chance that Stanky and me posted a video that day. With each other in it, and they are different videos. Yeah, this this is. I think they just ulted in your face, and they just stuck you in the choke. Yeah, this is why Winston's so goddamn good. The amount of pressure you can apply for so long is. Phenomenal. Like, that's just... And it's not that difficult to do. I'd definitely throw a grenade over there. Do you need to... Re uh, I guess this comes with Ana in general, is you need to recognize... Basically that. That was first. That that was a really good dart. Uh, but essentially, when everyone's healed, is that when everyone's healed, you need to just get a chip of damage in every now and then. And those are one of the times that quick scoping may have saved her life. In fact, it, pr it probably would have. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so so I didn't realize that was the one video when someone in chat's like, "Dude, Stinky, all he wants to do is talk with you." I was like, "Nah, who cares?" And everyone's just like, "You're a dick, crow. Stinky just wants to talk to you," and like. He didn't want to communicate Overwatch with me. He just like in the video, he's just like, "Man, I wish Crow would talk to me." Like he just wanted like like a friendly chit chat. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he wanted to talk about strats and whatnot. Like he was just saying it because I don't talk to anyone. Uh, and I don't think people understood that. Uh, but yeah, everyone's like, "One tricks are terrible." This is why one tricks are dumb. Everyone should hate one tricks. And the one guy in the chat room. Or in the YouTube comments is like, you know, Stanky's a one trick, and everyone's like, shut the fuck up. We hate these one tricks. <laughs> no one understood it. Like, no one got it. Going mercy. Uh, this may be a good choice in this one because what they're getting wrecked on is this mercy res. Um, it's a little bit too late. I mean, his healing seemed to be on point. His sleep darts, he was landing some good ones. Uh, he, his team was just having a really hard time with that Winston. Uh, the Winston was getting in their face constantly. Stanky wants you on his six stack that bad. If he just, like, friended me and talked to me, like, I would probably accept. And yeah, Stinky's a good guy. What up, Pristine Peach? How you doing? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, Fuey, I don't think Fuey understands how exclusive of a club he's in. Like, this isn't this isn't a bad idea. I know this seems a little ridiculous, but he put what eight shots in, 
at 60 damage a piece. He put 400 damage on the shield. Also, if his allies were shooting it, then uh, it just wasn't regening health. Yep. That Roadhog's not dying. <laughs> oh, man. Bad grenade Roadhogs are the most annoying things in the fucking world. There you go. It's a good grenade. Oh, man. That May Wall. No one died, though. Whoa, no one died. That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I was going to say, this is definitely a time to immediately kill the Reinhardt and move on with it. Damn, that Mercy just went through hell for that Roadhog. Oh, wow, that backhanded comment. Nice pick, Widow. Was that your first pick? Damn. Damn, what a salty little fucker. If I didn't know better, I thought that would be progressive saying that. Fury just wandered into a high class club. Basically. Fury's basically this fucking bum that accidentally walked into like this high roller club and they're just like, you know what guys? Just let him stay around. Who cares? That's what happened to you, Fury, if you're still around. Three man grenade. I mean, you tried. Anna tried. For the love of God, she tried so hard to save that hog. She's getting really good grenades off, though. I think a lot of people forget May's alt is line of sight, because I think she threw that behind the, the fountain and didn't freeze anyone, because the. Uh, Line of sight was broke. Alright, you got this. You got this. Keep on moving, Anna. So, I think this Anna's... She's landing sleep darts. It's it's decent enough. Uh, the banner grenades have been decent. Um. There you go. Uh, her alts have been fine. They've all been on Roadhog, but that's okay. That's acceptable. Uh, especially when you need the Reinhardt shield down now. You're a Roadhog. Yeah. Do I keep him around to make myself feel better? Uh, Fuey, maybe a little bit. He at least makes me feel, like, really handsome. Yo, your buddy's just fine, though. Don't worry about it. Is he gone? Are we just kind of talking shit on him and he's not even here? I've been on the swap with you. I think I might be able to do a little better right now. Maybe I have enough game or whatever, I don't know. This is a little tough of position. Yeah, I would definitely like you back a little bit more. Here's good. This is really good. Yeah, I had game That's a good sleep.
Tracer needs healing, but she's all willy nilly. Uh, slightly aggressive, but cool. So still doing really good. Again, the, the, the concept of Ana is kind of easy. Uh, it's one of those easy to good with, hard to master type heroes. Uh, the skill ceiling for Ana is quite high. Right now, maybe she's a little bit too much in it, but you know, sometimes you want to punch a Lucio. He land the sleep out of all sleep darts. No, you don't need to. Actually, I like this angle, uh, the inside angle. It's, it's actually safer than the outside one. Uh, so, yeah, like, where Mercy's at is actually more vulnerable than right here. Uh, it's all about if you can reach your target or not. The problem with this team, though, is that they don't have uh, vertical mobility. And with the soldier on the high ground, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's gonna have to be a really good sleep dart or a really good something uh, to change it. That was more of a saving alt, which is fine. And the soldier. Uh, that was actually lucky. That was lucky for the offense. Uh, the soldier coming down, he he gave up his positioning for a chance to kill Mercy, but missed the Mercy, got the Ana, but the Mercy's the key target to have alive. Uh, so they got really lucky. The, the whole their, their entire composition of not having a high ground like vertical mobility team was rescued by the fact that Soldier was greedy. That's good. Good, 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 good. At least you didn't get zero time. That Mercy should res? That Mercy needed to res when she needed to res, but she stayed alive. That's all she needed. As for the Ana skill set, I think the Ana is playing very well. Uh, maybe needs to add more offensive shots into her skill set. Her position. Here's the thing. Her positioning is very safe. Uh, she's focusing on healing. She's doing exactly as I say you should do to develop the skill set of Ana. So I will not say it's wrong. It's exactly what I want to see from a low SR Ana. And by low SR, I just mean, like, not a Grandmaster Ana. Uh, as you get more confident with your healing and your quick scopes and stuff like that, you can start adding that into your damage repertoire. Uh, like, you can start adding in DPS and whatnot. That was a good wall. Let's see what happens. I put a teleporter up, but no one has died yet. Oh, there's a shield gen? Okay. Oh, May almost had a perfect wall. No, 
No one's on point. That sucks. And I think this is where he plays Symmetra. So I can understand wanting to switch classes. You have... Oh, yeah. Exactly. You need... You uh, You can't play a normal strat like this. Because uh, you have to hold the not for... Like, it's not even the first corner. Holy shit, that's... Timing's overrated. Start putting up sentries now. Yeah. I'd actually put them in the window to the left. I would actually put it in here. They're almost there. Oh shit. Build charge off of it. Yeah. Remember, Symmetra gets up to 180 DPS. You madman. Oh, they immediately found it. Yep. This is the problem with being overly sneaky with your Symmetra alt, is that you can hear when you put it up immediately where it's at. Oh, a little bit overcommitted. Yep. I would throw a projector right now, whatever you call it. Projector? What do you call this thing? Oh, shit. You're trying some risky stuff? I just throw up a shield gen in the middle of everything. Okay, um, we have to heal, right? Hey, if you don't have ult, go something you can contest for a long time. Ah, timing's overrated. That's game. Oh, I would have actually used the teleporter or the shield gen in front of everyone and use it to absorb 400 hit points worth of damage. Oh, what did he say about Junkrat? I missed that. Was he upset at him? Good job, fucking, fucking Junkrat. Yeah! Fucking Junkrat. I don't even know who the guy's angry at. He's just angry. Oh, he wanted to quit. He wanted to quit. So overall, I mean, his Symmetra was whatever. Like, it, it, you can't judge someone based on, like, you gotta do a cheese strat. Because you can't lose the first fucking corner. Um, yeah, so I don't even care about the symmetry, but the Ana, the Ana was pretty good. Uh, accuracy was there. Uh, still needs to quickscope more. And I think all the abilities were done pretty well. 
uh, the positioning, he was not greedy, which is good at first. So by not greedy, I mean, like, he was playing, as I just said, with the other Ana. Like, Ana's easy. Your team's at a corner. You sit on the corner, you can't get shot at, and you heal your team. Uh, you just do this. And you can pretty much climb to, you know, 3K, 3,500 with that. Uh, save dart. Uh, if they have flankers, save dart for when you get flanked on. If they do not have flankers, and throw it into the mist, like, into the crowd, and, and see what you can get. See what you can fish out. Uh, after a while, you need to start adding, and I think this is where this guy's probably at, is you need to start adding, you know, because Ana can do both <clears throat> damage and healing, you start adding more damage and stuff, right? Because the dream is everything you do is like 50-50. 50-50? Uh, maybe less now with the damage nerf. Maybe it'd be like 60-40. Uh, but at first, healing is a priority. So you got to start adding in the, the other side. So positioning, I would be less safe and more greedy is what I would like to see. Uh, so on that last point, uh, point three, there's that the horseshoe, right? And the Ana was sitting right here. There's that wall here. The Mercy was out here. And the Ana can heal. Like, no one can shoot the Ana, but they can shoot the Mercy. Now, Mercy really can't do much damage more or less, when she's on this side. But if the Ana was over here, then the Ana would have an angle to shoot everyone else. Uh, essentially, I would like Ana if she took this position and the Mercy took this position. Uh, and from here, you can when there, you get a, like a very quick cycle. Like When you have the ability to, to take one shot and make it damaging, like do it. Uh, but finding this time to create one shot is difficult to get at a low level. Uh, essentially, you have to be so good at healing that you can recognize when you're not doing anything, and that's when you start adding in damage. And that's why I tell people, focus on healing first. At a certain point, you're going to go, man, I'm just healing full hit point heroes. I should be doing something else. That's when you start adding in damage. That's the correct learning process. Uh, logistics, like, I just went to logistics, he was finding the, 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 not, the very safe path every time. I like that. Information, uh, it seemed he was doing the correct things at the correct times. Uh, he didn't get snuck up on, nothing crazy happened to him. Uh, yeah, I think that was, that was pretty much fine. Uh, he's good at, he, for Diamond, very good, solid Ana. There's very little I would like for him to correct, except for adding in the damaging. When you start finding yourself healing full hit point heroes and you can add in one or two shots, that, that's when you start adding in the damage. So at first you're going to be like healing 80%, damaging 20%, or even less than that, 90-10. And then you start slowly uh, adding it in. You'll start finding more and more cycles to damage the opponent. Yeah, I means I've arrived. I wanted to send you a review. Is there a certain software you would recommend? No, just get it up on YouTube. Uh, there's a bunch of free solutions. Also, did I miss any subs? Yeah, I, mean, I, I did not. Okay. Uh, but that's all I got to say about this guy. Uh, I would definitely add work on adding in damage.